Hello there everyone, my name is Clink and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So you might be wondering what we're doing here in Dragoner's Cavern, and that is because today we are going to be doing the Tingle Statue side quest. So uh, this is pretty much going to be the last part of side questing in this game today. But what I want to do is go over to... I believe I want to go down below here. Because um, I'm trying to reach right below where I am currently. And we can actually do a little bit of cheesing with a few things around here. Uh, so since we have the Deku Leaf, I'm just going to go over here. So apparently... I, so I've never done this side quest before. This is actually going to be fairly blind. Apparently, the first Tingle statue is over here. So I found out about this side quest throughout the course of this Let's Play while I was just researching stuff. So in the original game, you would use the Tingle Tuner to find these things. In this version, you apparently just put down a bunch of bombs and then the chest just shows up. Like, I genuinely didn't know about these for the past like 10 years <laughs> since I first played this game. Um, so there's going to be one of these in every dungeon. So we're going to go around to each dungeon and pick one of these up. So there is the first one in Dragon Roost, and then I will meet you guys over in the Forbidden Woods for the second one. Okay, after a long journey, I finally made my way back to the Forbidden Woods. So we need to go to the basement floor. And why does it show Makar over there? That is weird. So... Uh, this is apparently found in the room we got the treasure chart. So, um, let's go into this pot. And I, I mean the, the, I don't remember what order we got them in actually. But the one that was like in the, where we had to like throw the bomb and stuff. So if we go down here, uh, we can end up down here and go through this door. And apparently it is right in a, in a grassy area or something. Let's see. Just keep moving while those guys are still stuck in the air. I'm pretty sure it's uh, just down here, right? Yeah, so it's in this room. I think it's talking about right here, I want to say. So let's put down a bomb right here, see what we get. Maybe uh, this is it. Yep, there it is. So this is the Forbidden Tingle statue, and it's in the Delight Pose, apparently. There we go. It's covered in sticky sap. It will be waiting for you on Tingle Island. Interesting. So I guess I'll meet you guys over at Tower of the Gods. Alright, here we are. I didn't realize that the King of Red Lions would be like, Oh, it's still too early for you to come to this place. And then, well, sorry, buddy. I'm not here to uh, go to Hyrule. I'm here for the Tower of the Gods once again. So this one is apparently in one of the earlier rooms. So the room right in front of us here had a Beemos in it. Apparently the platforms that move like up and down in here, there's one that sits still and we need to go to that one. So... Um, we'll just go up the platforms and jump across, do it again, and I think it's talking about this here, so this should have a chest on it. Yep, there it is. Okay. Very cool. So... We can jump back on, and this should be our goddess Tingle statue. I don't know if that's the word I would use to describe Tingle, but you know. Yep, uh, it's in the playful pose. So I guess that is three down, and I'm so glad to be done with those first two, because they were definitely the more annoying ones to get back to the dungeon. Uh, so I will meet you guys over in the Earth Temple to get the next one. All right, here we go. So, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, there's a room in the Earth Temple. It had a bridge that we went across, and I was like, I don't know why that part to the left is there. 
Uh, I don't think you can do anything with it. Uh, well, of course, it has to come back and bite me in the button. Wow, I actually pulled that out in time. I also want the grappling hook, though, because I do need one more skull necklace, and we should be able to grab one from one of the moblins right here. So we'll... Nope. Thank you, sir. So we now have enough skull necklaces to do the stuff on uh, Windfall. Meaning we're probably going to get two more treasure charts today. Uh, if I remember correctly, the bridge room was just past this, right? Because like, you would come down here and then, yeah. So it's this room right here. Uh, you need to pull out the Deku Leaf. That might be a little too low. Yeah. Ooh, you can fall down here. Okay. Uh, that's lovely. Isn't it so nice to just be revisiting all of our old favorite places <laughs> with the dungeons? I've got to admit, um, I when I noticed they were all within the dungeons, I was like, oh, this is going to be a fun episode of backtracking. Uh, but honestly, after Forbidden Woods and Dragon Roost, it's not that bad. So apparently this is it right here. Blow up the bubble. There we go. So we just have one more Tingle statue left to go pick up and die. Come on. There we go. So this is the Earth Tingle statue in the winning pose. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that. Tingle's looking pretty good right there. I'm not going to lie. But all right. I'll meet you guys over in the Wind Temple for the last one. All right. Welcome back over to the Wind Temple. So... Uh, this last one is apparently pretty straightforward from the entrance. Um, it's the room where Makar had to, like, fly around, I think. So we need the iron boots still to get through this. So... It looks... Yeah, I think it's just, like, two rooms north of where I am now, so... We'll just fly across and head over to it. So this is a really weird side quest, honestly, but it's just something I really wanted to do just to see it at least once. Is this it? Actually, this might be the room. No, it's another room north of this. Uh... Wait, what? Let's see, so Link jumped down to the ground located between the higher grassy platforms and the hidden chest. So it's down here? Is that it? I don't, I don't really get what this is saying. Unless it. Like, I'm assuming this is what it means or something? No. So, in the room where Makar must plant seeds to- Oh, the, right, these guys drain your magic. I forgot about these guys. Um, Makar must plant seeds to open a nearby gated door. Have Link jump down to the ground located in between the higher grassy platforms. And the chest is in- Oh! Oh, so it's just right here? Is this where it is? It says it's hidden, like, between the two platforms. Ah, there we go. Okay. So this is the final of the Tingle statues, the winded Tingle statue in the Kulu pose, his little Kulu. So there we go. Now we can head over to Tingle Island, so I guess I'll just see you guys over there. All right, let us meet Knuckle. So this is the first time I have ever actually like met this guy. So, all the statues are here, and it looks like he is just sitting here now. This is very odd. But, alright. Isn't this just incredibly creepy? Especially with our eyes glowing like this. Jeez. Hey, Mr. Fairy, Mr. Fairy, you found all the Tingle statues. If it wasn't for you, I would never have been able to come back. Oh, thank you. I understand now when you say this place is the most beautiful place ever. This scenery would make a pictograph. You could be proud of, don't you agree? I guess. So, uh, if you want to complete the Nintendo Gallery, you do need to do this. Um, 
which obviously we haven't been doing the Nintendo Gallery, but much to Link's dismay, we are going to keep this pictograph as one of our selfies for the journey. So apparently Knuckle here like built the island and then he didn't like Tingle very much anymore or something, so he left, but I think that's... Oh, no, 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 it's not the only reward. That's what it was going to be. So for every Tingle statue you find, uh, you can talk to one of Tingle's brothers. I forget their names. I know one of them's named David, but... Um, I don't remember which one's which. But if we go and talk to... I think it's the pink one. Yeah, so he'll give us some money for all the Tingle statues. I think for every one, he'll give you 50. Uh... And then, oh no, he'll just give you another 500 once you get them all. So, there we go. That's your other reward, I guess. And let's go back to Windfall for the last couple things I shall do, I guess. So, we're giving away some more spoils and getting two more treasure charts, I think, out of this. If I remember right, so... 43 out of 46. That is a mighty high number, honestly. And one I did not really expect to reach. I think I originally said I was expecting it like maybe 25, but honestly like 35 might have been more realistic. Uh, but 43 is a lot, so we will make it daytime. So, bum, 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 right? Yeah. So let's do the skull necklaces first, I guess. Um, we'll talk to this fellow right here. I don't know why the game does that sometimes. Uh, where you can't use your items or whatever. So, we have a couple skull necklaces. Oh, chum, that's a skull necklace. I collect these things, but how'd you know that? I can sell these for huge profit at antique stores, which reminds me there's something I want to talk to you about, Chum. Could you give me all three of these? If you do, I'll let you play a really fun game. Here you go. Thanks, Chum. I'm happy to take them off your hands. All right, then. Now I'll let you play my little game. It's called Piggy Sitting. I've let three pigs loose on this island. You have to bring them all back to me within two minutes. If you do a good job, I'll reward you for your trouble. Are you ready, Chum? Sure. And begin. So all three of them are going to be pretty close by. Uh, they're not very far away at all. So here's one. So the pigs will run away. You can chase them and still pick them up, like, maybe. Uh, but the easiest way is to just crawl and sneak up behind them and then pick them up when you get the chance. Um, ignore the fact that I'm not really doing so good a job of that. Okay, there we go. We finally got one. So we'll plop it down here. All right, so we still have a minute 28, so we'll get this one next. Crawl up behind, make sure he's sitting still. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Who's a good little piggy? We'll just plop him down right here. Uh, where? The last one's somewhere nearby, I think. Um, is it up here? Ah, there he is. Hiding behind the bush. Trying to drop down. They don't ever run very far away. Like, it's not a very difficult little mini game. Yeah, get over here, buddy. Wow, you found the third one. Nice work, well chum. You win. Oh, yeah, I guess a promise is a promise. I owe you a little reward then, don't I? All right, hold out your hand, chum. There we go. Treasure chart. Uh, but still, cripes. How could my little piggies lose like that? They must be out of shape. Time for an exercise regime. Things won't go so easy for you next time. Or regimen, not regime, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so we'll equip our joy pendants, because we can go give these to Miss Marie still. Yeah, I think... So we've already given her 21. Once you give her 41, then you get another treasure chart. And since we have the joy pendants anyway, why not, right? So, here we go. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants have you brought? 21? My goodness, when I put these together with the ones you've already brought, they add up to a whopping 42. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so joyful to receive so many joy or so many mountains of these beautiful pendants. I am quite simply brimming with joy, my dear. 
to thank you i have to give you my most precious of precious belongings i shall give you this now close your eyes dear this item is so rare there are sparse few others like it anywhere in the world another treasure chart but hey we'll take it so what do you think doesn't it fill you with joy i found it a long time ago in that cabana that now belongs to you but why the long face i understand my dear i really do you're just welling up with joy at having done such a good deed aren't you you mustn't forget this feeling you have you hear not ever for any reason thanks miss marie i guess so uh, i guess these are the last two treasure charts that we're gonna do uh they are maybe if i can ever navigate the map uh number wow they are very far along there it is 42 and 45 so 42 is going to be i think this is the isle of gales and how did i do this what the heck did i do hold on okay there we go yeah that's definitely the isle of gales so i'll meet you guys over there okay uh, i think it's on the back side judging by the map so we should see the light pretty soon here. There it is. Okay, I was, I was starting to get a little worried, honestly. Uh, but we'll pull up to it. And... Orange rupee. All right. And 45 was the other one, which this is the Seven Star Isles, which we're pretty close to anyway. So I will meet you guys over there. All right, coming in hot, which we can see it already. This is the last treasure chart reward we shall do, which it probably won't be anything too much. So let's see what we get. Silver Rupee. All right. So we only have one thing left in the game that I would like to do before the final boss. And that is, of course, going to get our final piece of the Triforce on Outset Island. So we're going to work over there because I want to get like I, the next part is just going to be this thing. Like I'm going to be right at the entrance going into it. So we're going to get to it today. Um, What I recommend fill your bottles up. I'm only going to go in with three filled with... Or no, I guess I'm missing a fairy. Um... Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little cheat here. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go in with one fairy. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to have the wind facing this way already. You'll see why here in a bit. And we are going to drink our other grandma's soup. So the grandma soups are going to give you like two full heals anyways. Um, but I want to refresh it just in case. I probably won't need it, but I'll have it on me in case, because why not? So we can go talk to grandma to refill the empty bottle. Hello, grandma. Link, aren't you hungry? Would you like grandma to fill your bottle with some of her special homemade soup? Yes, please. You're such a well-mannered boy. Here you go. There we go. So, um... Got two helpings. You and your sister love my soup, don't you? If you run out, come back and I'll make some whenever. So, uh, it doesn't really matter what items you have equipped for this. Well, it, it kind of does, I guess, but not really. In fact, it's probably better to have the hookshot equipped. Because really, the hookshot, the bow, and your bombs are probably going to be the best things for this. Because it is just a big combat gauntlet. That's all that the uh, Savage Labyrinth is. If you take a look at the incredible chart it was over here wasn't it yeah um you can see that this is where our final triforce shard is going to be at so uh that is where this thing is and there's also the last item in the game from this so we're gonna be acquiring it right before finishing the game but yeah just uh come up here and you gotta go all the way up do 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 mini moons still attack you at this part? Or is that kind of just 
during the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Great Fish Isle section of the game. But yeah, that rock over there, we want to jump off the edge and start gliding over. Um, you do not need the magic meter upgrade to do this, just the wind facing this direction. And oh my god, that pig's grown, so I could actually get the heart piece, but I don't really care. Um, because if I, if I like start another heart container, I'm going to be like, oh, but then, yeah, no, no, not doing that. So, fly over here, pick up the head, and head on inside. So, this is the Savage Labyrinth. Uh, there's 50 floors to this. You only need to do 30 to get the Triforce Shard. But I'm going to end this part here, and I will see you guys next time where we'll be taking this on. Bye-bye.